In the previous programs, we reported on EU parliamentary elections. The journalists of Central Asia traveled to Brussels to report on the elections. Media outlets met with lead spokespersons for the foreign affairs and security policy. He shared his views on how CA countries can deal with external threats. Within the Central Asia's journalists' visit to European Union, different briefings and workshops were organized. This included a meeting at European Commission with the lead spokesperson for foreign affairs and security policy, Peter Stano. Journalists got the opportunity to ask questions on labor migration, climate change and transition to a green energy. One of the highlights was the integration of the states. The countries of Central Asia know best uh, what, uh, what is necessary for them to live in peace, stability and welfare for their people or well-being for their people. We in European Union can only say and share our example. For the European Union it worked amazingly that we actually enhanced the integration of the region, of the European region. So we started as six countries, now we are 27 countries. We are uh, recommending everyone in the world, not only in Central Asia, everyone in the world, that the way forward for good neighborly relations, reconciliation, overcoming the past, is more cooperation. The meeting also touched upon the preparation for the next ministerial meeting of the European Union and Central Asian countries. This time, the event is expected to be held in Uzbekistan. The European Union considers Uzbekistan as an important partner and a country with whom we want to develop our ties even stronger. And this goes both bilaterally on a bilateral basis like European Union as, and Uzbekistan and also regionally as European Union and Central Asia. There is a whole strategy by the European Union to develop even closer the cooperation with Central Asia and countries from this region. Across, across the board, that means political cooperation and political dialogue, economic cooperation, trade and investment, cooperation in terms of energy, environment, connectivity, digitalization, green transition and also in uh, the area of security. These are very important areas, both for the European Union and for the region, for Uzbekistan, for Central Asia.